Well, this was for the Outstanding Research Project category, um, and it's the Rosetta uh, mission, which in which we had a number of involvements, both building experiments uh, and working on experiment teams analysing data. And although the mission has now been completed, it takes a very uh, concerted effort to combine all the information from the different experiments to build up a kind of clearer picture of how comets work. And Rosetta's really made a step change in our understanding of the place of comets in uh, our solar system and how it formed. Well, it's interesting. I mean, I don't know if uh, people remember, but uh, this, is, this is the object we went to. It was a comet called 67P. And I mean, we didn't, know, we didn't anticipate it would look like this. And, and so basically, you know, uh, all paradigms of, of, of things got thrown out. There are other fascinating things about this, like its overall density and uh, it's very low. So it's a, the, the majority of this is space. You know, there's not a lot inside it, and yet the surface is is quite hard, and it stays together as a as an object. And um, some of the things that Simon's been looking at are grains that are coming off the surface that are relatively quite large, and yet they have a density of air. I mean, they are that. Like, I mean, I find that absolutely fascinating. Mm. And for those of us who are doing like the chemical sampling, we're trying to sample materials like that for which we have literally no experience of on Earth. And when you combine all these different measurements, you're trying to pick up uh, an understanding of the place that, that, that comets sit in the, the formation of our solar system. Because they're made of ice, they haven't essentially been heated very much since their formation four and a half billion years ago. And so they tell us about the properties that were present in the outer part of the, the solar nebula, away from the terrestrial planets, but a very, very important part of the building blocks of planets. And those little grains that uh, Ian talked about, incredibly fluffy grains, think of a dandelion seed that we detected with our dust instrument. You have to collect those into the comet and protect them. And though just the fact that they exist now and are being emitted now, tells you that that comet must have undergone very, very gentle processes during its formation. So little measurements of a dust grain in a comet, microscopic, can tell you about things to do with the formation of the solar system. It's quite astonishing when you put together the information from different experiments.